What's up? It's BD. Today we are going to be talking about the Mail Hanger version 3. Before I get into it, I have a Patreon. I sell men's health aids at Peak Mouth Physique. They are not needed, but they can help. Um, I have pre-orders available for mine and Doc Hink supplements at leviathansops.com. So let's get into it. So, Mail Hanger sent me this. Oh, I don't know. Probably a year ago. I said I would eventually do a review, and here it is. So, he did send me this for free, but this is going to be unbiased. First of all, let's talk about how this works. We have a penis. We have the device. We put our penis in the device. We clamp down, and as we screw this bolt here tighter and tighter, it begins to grip the penis. At a certain point, you will not be able to get it tighter, and then you'll be able to hang weights or use a tension band like you would in the gym to hang weights off your penis. Uh, I'll be honest, the compression part can be uncomfortable for the first five minutes, but you get used to it. You dangle weight off of yourself for 20 minutes, take it off, repeat as needed. Voice over BD. So I forgot the most important caveat with all compression hangers, and is that they can only be worn for 20 minutes at a time. At the beginning, doesn't matter. But as you keep progressing, that constant on and off is going to get quite annoying. However, there is research to suggest that taking many sets actually leads to a better elongation. So be that as you will, or take that as you will rather. Um, you also have the benefit of not having to worry about blisters with vacuum hanging, which can be worn for longer, but the increased chance of blisters. The clamshell designs like this are probably the oldest design for a hanger that I know of. Uh, but um, I haven't been in the game as long as some other guys in the field, so forgive me. But the most famous device before all this was probably the bib hanger. This is circa 2003. This is its spiritual successor. However, Bibb's device costs like $160. This costs about $70. It is also plastic instead of whatever Bibb used for the padding. So it can be a little more uncomfortable, I would assume. However, it is much sturdier. You will be given a gauze wrap when you order this device for when you start. And then you would add a sock around that. And that would be your beginning grip. However, what I would recommend is getting something called a girth band. This is from LG Hanger. Not a big fan of LG Hanger as a company, but this is a very good silicone wrap, albeit expensive. It costs $40 for three, but it has lasted me for three years. All of them. I have not broke a single one yet. They, it would seem that this is designed perfectly to match the girth band because when you put it in, it lines up perfectly. These little nodules here act as another point or another gripping point. This gets rid of the need for wrapping and I would recommend most of you guys spend the extra 40 bucks, make your life easier because constantly wrapping a sock around it, one leads uh, room for error and two, it just becomes a pain in the ass for doing this for an hour a day, every day for months on end, depending on how big you wanna get. So invest a little bit make it easy as possible. Now, the reason why I am reviewing this device is because uh, Still Want More is an active member on r slash getting bigger. I would like to give him some notoriety for his device. It is a good device. Uh, I personally prefer vacuum hanging, but that's for a different reason. This is very good. I know many guys have seen very good gains with the male hanger. Now, at the bottom here, this adjust so even if you are extremely thick you're able to change the size now i doubt any of you will be meeting the very end but the option's still there uh, when you do put the device on you will want to squeeze the tip of your penis as tightly as you can this is so that when you start clamping down none of the blood in your shaft goes back into your tip and that's how you can get hematomas when you wear this so make sure yeah, squeeze your dinger as you put this thing on. And that will also reduce any pain because that blood is not just pooling in the tip of your penis. Um, so 
people that should get this device are first, you probably want to be over five inches long to wear this device comfortably because you're going to need at least an inch for your glands to stick out. And then you're going to need at least an inch and a half to two inches for it to attach on your glands. So this is about five inch, uh, four and a half, five inches, this marker. As you can see, there is just enough for it to sit comfortably. Uh, if you're a little shorter than that, you might be able to make it work, but I would suggest that you start doing manuals before you get any device, except for maybe some vacuum hangers, especially if you're under four inches, because then that's when it's gonna be an issue fitting into many devices. Uh, luckily, manuals are simple. So anyway, uh, and then tight circumcise, tightly circumcised guys probably want to avoid this until they work on some foreskin restoration or get a little longer because let's say you have a tight circumcision and you have skin that comes up to here, halfway up your shaft. It's not uncommon. That would be pinched by the clamp. Uh, when I first started doing this uh, with version two, it bit me essentially and it was just uncomfortable. I rode through it, but that's ultimately what led me to vacuum hanging because that bite was annoying. But now that I've grown an extra inch since that time, um, it's not an issue. I still have a turkey neck, but there's enough shaft, I guess, for it to fit comfortably. One thing that is annoying with this though is it does twist when it's on and then this little wrench, not wrench, this bolt here would stick into your thigh. That's uncomfortable, not a deal breaker. And then if Ben's watching, ugh, I think this can be shorter because I know this is gonna sound like a bragger, but if you're over eight inches, this is gonna hit the floor when you're seating or sitting. So I think this could be about two inches shorter and then I'll bring that up to here and it wouldn't affect uh, it opening and closing. So yeah, a little bit shorter here, probably save you a little bit of money and material inconsequentially but you get what I'm saying. Um, I like the device. It's just not so much for me just because of my, let's say monstrosity of skin down there. Uh, um, uh, yeah, mailhanger.com if you wanna get one of these. It's good if you want something that's simple, you don't have to worry about blisters and it does a very good job of targeting the ligaments since it's kind of closer to the ligaments, therefore it is hitting the ligaments better. Go mail hanger. Um, I will be doing more reviews eventually. They're all going to be unbiased. So subscribe if you want more of them. Like if you like this video. Uh, yeah, let me know. This is a B signing off. I should probably talk about the gains too. When I was still using a compression hanger mainly. Um, I did between the cheeks and straight down mainly. So for those that don't know what between the cheeks is, that's essentially when you put your legs up in a chair and then have your edge, I mean, have your butt on the edge of the seat and then the weight dangles between your cheeks, essentially pulling your penis between you. This puts the most amount of stress that you can on the ligaments. If you know anything about anatomy and physiology, the suspensory ligaments sit close to the hip, keeping the penis in place and pointing straight out when you erect. If we can make these ligaments more flexible and longer, your penis will have more flexibility during sex for more sex positions. And your penis that is riding close to the hip will pull out more. This is the quickest way to make a quickest way to gain length aside from EQ. And then I also did straight down, which is just when you sit or stand and the weight just goes below your or between your legs, 90 degrees uh, perpendicular to the floor. In that six to eight weeks, I put on a quarter of an inch in length. That is pretty good, especially when I've already done this for three years. It is not unheard of for people to gain a quarter of an inch in a month to a half an inch in two months. So it really depends on your existing tissue quality and how tight the suspensory ligament is as long as how tight the other connective tissues in your penis are. But yeah, I can say for a fact that compression hanging does work. 
Um, and I do recommend Mail Hanger. Uh, but like I said, it's one of the only few devices I have used. So I might be a little biased there. However, I know Ben, at least as a colleague, and I can speak for the fact that he does put the time in to make sure that the people that buy his device know how to use it properly, at least his own definition of properly. I think he could streamline it a bit, but um, that's besides the point. Even if you don't want to follow Ben's methods per se, you can go on r slash getting bigger, follow my methods, and then go from there, okay? But the mail hanger is one of the few devices that I can say is worth the price. So I'll leave it at that. This is BD signing off.